this is a redo of the video that I made yesterday because quite frankly it was a very poor video and you really couldn't see a whole heck of a lot. What I'm showing is some slingshots that are in the process of being made. Um, they start off like this. This is somewhere in the middle. This is almost completed. And then this is completed. This is my absolute favorite right here. This is the one that I shoot every day. It doesn't have bands right now because I'm rebanding it. I just got new ammo uh, and I'm going to reband it for the uh, with appropriate bands. This is a 50 caliber steel ball. This is a 62 caliber steel ball. And at five yards, it does a pretty good job of penetrating. As does this. It goes through it like, like nothing else. And that's using the, the bands for this size ammo. So I'm going to band it up with the proper bands, and then do another penetration test. But getting back to the slingshots, um, first let me explain. This is a style that I've been using for a few years. It's slightly different from what I've seen on anyone else's site on the internet. Mine is, uh, mine are designed in a very specific manner. Number one, one holds it at this angle. It's more of a natural straight angle. This is a short little butt back here. It fits right in here. Now this particular yoke or web support as I call it is very carefully measured and cut to allow for a good solid position when I press on that, all that pressure is coming on the web right here and on my thumb and forefinger. Now, mind you, it's not pressing on the tip of my thumb. It's actually pressing on the entire thumb and the, this part of the forefinger. This makes for a very stable firing platform. And being that it's canted forward, there's less strain on the hand and on the wrist. It makes a big difference as far as stability and as a result it's a lot more accurate. So this is how I make them. Now this is what they look like in the very beginning. This is two pieces of white oak been glued together and very roughly cut and I can start to rasp on this and it'll reach a point somewhere along in this. This is an oak banister that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm still not quite comfortable with it. It's uh, I'm going to play around with it. This is more, this is closer to the stages of completion. Uh, it's still rough. It still needs a lot of work, but this is getting closer to it. Now this and this are both uh, being made for other people. This one is a left-handed grip, and this one is for hands slightly smaller than mine. But as you see, it fits just almost perfect, but not quite because it's slightly small for my hand. This, being left-handed, uh, I'm not 100% comfortable with it, but uh, I'll get it organized. At any rate, thought I'd show what they look like and give you an idea as to why I make them in this particular manner. This way, when I fire, I'm holding it this way, not this way, and putting additional strain on my wrist and hand up here, just holding it 
out like this. And it makes a big difference. But, there's where we are with them. This video is actually a redo of the one I made yesterday because this is, uh, I can perhaps demonstrate these or show these a bit better this way. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.